welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we are looking at Philippians chapter 1 and verse 20. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Let's break this verse down. Let's unpack it. Let's uh, look at it uh, phrase by phrase. I eagerly expect. That word eagerly expect means to watch with one's head erect or outstretched so as to direct attention. It talks about intense expectation and earnest watching, the craning of the neck to catch a glimpse of what lies ahead. And then Paul says, I hope, and that word hope means the absolute certainty of some future good going to happen. So Paul says that no matter what happens to him, he should not be ashamed. Yes, he would stand before the Roman magistrates and uh, before the Roman hierarchy. And when he did so, he does not want to be ashamed of the Lord Jesus. He wanted to have sufficient courage to be able to declare the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember in Romans chapter 1, Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And now there was the possibility he would stand before the most powerful men of that day. And God was going to provide the opportunity for the apostle to declare the gospel. And when facing such a situation, he could wilt under the pressure. So he says that God will give me sufficient courage to be able to declare the gospel. So that now as always, now as always, Paul's witness and testimony was very, very consistent. Uh, he did not waver. He did not uh, change. He was very consistent. And that's a challenge to all of us, isn't it? Now and always, every single day of our life, to have a consistent witness for our Lord Jesus Christ. Not up and down, but to be consistent. That Christ will be exalted in my body. Yes, he wanted the Lord Jesus Christ to be honored in his physical body. And that talks about his attitudes, his words, his behavior, through my eyes, through my ears, through my tongue, through my hands, through my feet, through my dress code, that the Lord Jesus Christ will be exalted every single day. People are able to read our body language and through it, they should be able to come to a conclusion that the Lord Jesus Christ indwells us and that he is everything to us. Yes, it is our ministry to make the Lord Jesus Christ look good and relevant in the eyes of a watching world. And so may God give us grace that through our body, that the Lord Jesus Christ will be exalted wherever we go, that people will be able to see the Lord Jesus Christ in and through us. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.